This is a presentation on toric IOL, the right lens in the wrong axis. This lens is presently lying at the 180 degree axis and you can see the three axis marks on either side. When this patient came for a routine follow up on the 15th post operative day, we encountered a refractive surprise. The pre-existing cylinder of two adapters which was supposed to get corrected by the toric IOL had doubled to four adapters. We checked our data and found that during calculations, some of the K1 and K2 readings had got interchanged, leading to the placement of the toric IOL at 180 degree, whereas it was destined to be at 90 degree. So we decided to rotate the lens to 90 degree position. Now the dilemmas before the surgeon. After 15 days, would the capsular bag adhere to the lens preventing smooth dialing? Could a forced dialing lead to a zonular dehiscence or a capsular bag tear? What are the ways to ensure a problem free dialing? So now I am going in with a lens dialer and I am trying to locate the optic haptic junction so that I, I can engage my dialer there and try to dial the lens. And I can just move the lens, but there are no signs of dialing. So probably the lens is fairly adherent to the capsular bag. So now I go in with a probe and I'm separating the anterior capsule from the lens surface to see whether this move would be sufficient to help me dial the lens. And now I'm trying to dial, but no, I can just move the lens a little bit, but again, no success at dialing. So we presume that this lens is adherent all over to the capsular bag and we'll have to separate the entire lens from the capsular bag. So now I move in with the viscoelastic and under the anterior capsule I inject the viscoelastic and you can see this viscoelastic wave going behind the lens and with counter pressure I complete the viscoelastic wave and I think I have a totally free lens in the capsular bag. So one more attempt to dial this lens and as I move the dialer and yes, you can see those axis marks moving. Yes, the lens is dialing. I continue to dial and now I'm trying to bring the lens to a position just 10 degrees short of the final position. So this is the 10 degree short position. Now with the, with the uh, IA system, I am remo removing the viscoelastic from over the lens. And then from under the lens. And now with the probe, I am fine tuning the lens into the right position. I hydrate the wound edges and increase the anterior chamber pressure slightly above normal so that the lens does not rotate further. On seeing this patient in the OPD after 15 days, she just had a 0.25 residual cylinder.